Hey guys over there watching my video, I am Shreya and welcome to my youtube channel Code Web with Shreya. So coming to our today's topic that is on brain computer card for disabled using biocontrol system. The contents of this presentation, objectives, introduction, what is BCI, mechanism in the car, Technologies used in the car, pros and cons, and conclusion. Coming to the what we will be learning in this presentation is the objective of this presentation is to explore the concept of brain controlled cars. These cars would be a great help for the disabled people. Controlling a car by our human brain, this is the whole concept of this presentation. The cars will only rely on what the individual is thinking, therefore does not require any physical movement so these car only depend on human thinking so they do not require any physical movement the technologies used in the car are very advanced and upcoming such as ai and brain computer interface this car uses two kind of technologies that is artificial intelligence and brain computer interface you can also watch my previous seminar video on brain computer interface i'm also linking it at the i button over here So coming to introduction, in the 40s and 50s a number of researchers explored the connection between neurology, information theory and cybernetics. So in 40s and 50s what scientists thought were there should be some connection between our human brain and IT that is our information technology. So in order to crack this connection or in order to find this connection between our human brain and information technology. Many researches were done by the scientists. Most researchers hope that their, their work will eventually be incorporated into a machine with general intelligence. So what they thought is, if general intelligence, that is AI, if this, if this technology is successful, they can incorporate this neurotechnology into this AI technology. Combining all the skills above and exceeding human abilities at most are all of them. So they thought that combining of these two technologies would, would result in some technology that can do everything that a human does or it, it can do more things than a human does. These cars systems are mainly on the concept called as brain computer interface. These cars mainly work on the system called as brain computer interface. So coming to what is brain computer interface. A brain computer interface sometimes called as direct neural interface or brain machine interface is a direct communication pathway between a human or an animal brain and an external device. So brain computer interface is a direct connection between a human and a machine. So how is this direct connection possible? So BCI is a technology nothing but that connects our human brain with the machine and the machine works as our human brain gives the signals to it. The BCI system is further connected to an artificially intelligent system in order to identify the correct brain wave and decode it to a machine signal. So with the help of BCI system. We will collect our brain signals but in order to identify the correct brain signal and to decode the brain signal these BCI systems are connected to artificially intelligent system that is, that is AI systems. So these AI systems collect the correct brain signal and decode the brain signal and this decoded brain signal is sent to the machine. So you can see here. The collected signals are through this box and with in this uh, whole decoding happens and from here the from here the signals are sent to the machine, sent to the computer system. So first we will see the mechanism of the car. So let's see how this car works. Once the driver nears the car, the security system of the car is activated. So once the driver is close to the car the security system of this car is activated and what this security system does is this security system has some cameras and it checks whether the person 
who nears the car is actual owner of the car it already has some images of this owner into its database so it's cross checks whether the person in the database and the person approach the car is the same or not so if the person is match it opens the door once the driver passes this stage the door sli slides to the sides and the ramp is lowered from the floor as this person is disabled or he uses a wheelchair the after the security check is done the ramp is lowered to the floor once the driver enters the ramp the the flip activates the ramp to be lifted horizontally so once the person in the wheelchair or the driver is on the ramp the ramp is lifted horizontally and this person is taken inside the car and inside the car and he is placed into his seat the robotic arms assist the driver to its seat as soon as the driver is seated the e seated the eeg helmet attached to the top of the seat is lowered and su and suitably placed on the driver's head once the driver enters what the robotic arms in the car make the driver to sit on his chair eeg helmet is pla placed on through the pants head a wide screen of the computer is placed on an angle visible to the driver each program can be controlled either directly by mouse or by shortcut for starting the car the button is clicked so after the eeg helmet is placed on the man's head a screen is lowered that is he can see everything through a screen and the screen is connected with the brain waves of the man so he can control the screen or he can control the whole system of the car with his brain coming to what is the technology used in the car the technologies used in the car are all together known as bio control system so as i have said this car uses the technologies of bci and ai so this com combination of all these technologies are known as bio control system this bio control system integrates signals from various other system so bio control system what it does is it integrates system from bci as well as it integrates systems from ai and so it combines both the signals and performs its tasks so this is a model of a brain controlled car bio control system comprises of these following technologies that is brain computer interface automatic security system and automatic navigation system coming to the brain computer interface we have already seen about the brain computer interface now this brain computer interface here we are doing with the help of this eeg eeg is nothing but an electroencephalograph that is it captures the signals from the brain and and shows it in the form of a graph brain computer interface will increase importance of offering customized intelligent help and training the multiple brain waves of human with numerous thoughts has to be handled and the correct brain wave must be processed so bci technology takes all the brain signals which are coming from the human brain but the human brain thinks n number of things at the same time so in order to capture the correct brain wave which is in this situation the person is driving so it captures the brain wave which is suitable to driving in order to in order to capture such kind of signals the technology called eeg is used in order to make this possible research in this field have developed a single position brain controlled switch that that responds to specific patterns detected of eeg after the signals are taken by the eeg they are further further filtered with the help of other technologies the eeg the eeg is then filtered and run through the fourier transform before being displayed on three dimensional graphic so after capturing of this eeg signals they are transformed to some fourier transform where these eeg signals are filtered and more accurate eeg signal is captured the experimental control system is configured by the particular task being used in the evaluation and sends the correct impulse so after the filtration that is the correct impulse is sent to the decoding machine after the impulse of impulse of human brain is tracked and decoded 
hence we decode the message and the, at the motor neuron to obtain maximum accuracy so after the correct impulse is detected from the motor neuron it is decoded and this and this decoded signal is sent to the machine and, and the machine acts as per the signals given so coming to the automatic security system along with the bci there is an another system which is embedded into this car that is an automatic security system the eeg of the driver is monitored continuously when it drops less than 4 hertz then the driver is in an unstable state so as i have said before the eeg the eeg produces a graph if this this graph falls below 4 hertz then it detects that the driver is in unstable condition or there's something wrong going on with the driver the message is given to the driver for confirmation and waits for some time to con to continue the drive so here what this car does is after it detects that the driver is unstable it sends a message to the driver whether he is ready to drive the car or whether he is all right or not if the driver doesn't give reply then the computer prompts the driver for the destination before the drive so here if the driver is not replying to the message what the computer does is it already it already has a destination set to it so it carefully drives the driver to its destination so it, so here the bci system is shut down and the ai system that is automatic car driving comes into force and it drives the driver to its destination safely so coming to the automatic navigation system as the computer is based on artificial intelligence it automatically monitors every, every route the car travels and stores stores it in the map database for further use so this car always keeps tracking the route of the driver where he is going and whether we can find any shortest route to go to the destination the map database is analyzed and the shortest route to the destination is chosen with with traffic monitoring system provided by xm satellite radio the computer the computer drives the car automatically so if the driver is not in a position to drive the car what this traffic monitoring system does is with the help of this xm satellite signals it finds the shortest route and less traffic routes and drives the driver to its destination video and anti collision sensors mainly assist the driver by providing a continuous light live feed of the environment up to 180 meters which is sufficient for the purpose so it has an anti collision sensors and video sensors with, with these sensor it sends it sends a live feed of the climate and live feed of the traffic to the driver this sensor work up to the distance of 180 meters so coming to the pros and cons of this device it is helpful for the individual to shift gears change speed acceleration and their mind directions so the so these cars automatically shift their gears change speed and the mind directions are not in a proper way they automatically change their route the technology help physically challenge people to drive car without any external movements so this doesn't require any external movement so this can bridge a gap between the normal people and challenged people the sensors placed in the front and rear ends of the car will send the feedback of the environment to the computer so because of the sensors the computer already has the feedback of the environment and it drives the car safely so coming to the cons these kind of systems are very costly this the design of the system is very complex as we have seen the ai and bci both the technology are very complex and in order to combine these both technologies the car become much more complex care must be taken while designing the car otherwise many problems will occur which may lead to accidents so if improper data sets are given to these cars so this this may lead to accidents the car should be feeded with the proper information any misinformation leads to the misbehavior of the car so coming to the conclusion 
द कार ब्रिंग्स ए रिवोल्यूशनरी चेंज इन द सोसाइटी विच हेल्प्स विच हेल्प्स टू अराइडकेट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एबल पीपल एंड डिसेबल पीपल सो इफ दिस कार रियली कम्स टू अर डे टू डे लाइफ इट विल बी ए वेरी ग्रेट हेल्प टू टैलेंट पीपल इट ऑल्सो बिचेज द गैप बिटवीन एवरी इंडिविजुअल वेन द एबव रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर सैटिस्फाइड एंड द कार बिकम्स कॉस इफेक्टिव then we shall witness about change if these cars become cost effective it would be a great revolution in the revolution of the era the integration of bioelectronics with automotive systems is essential to develop a futuristic vehicle which shall be soon helpful for disabled so these are some references where you can learn more about these systems and this technology Thank you for watching the video if you like the video do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you want some more videos on some more new technologies please comment down in the comment section below